we're ready to start an infusion. I'm going to go ahead and reach out to the system on key and turn it on. And you'll notice some lights that are going to light up here on the PCA, just meaning that the connectivity between the PCU and the PCA is intact. The first clinical question it's going to ask you, is this a new patient? Remember the arrow keys that correspond the screen. You're just looking for the answer that you're looking for. And in this case, is this a new patient? I'm going to say yes, that's what I want. And it'll default to the last profile that it was used in, which is med surge, and that is what I want for this scenario. Now it's going to be in just a calm, quiet mode until I'm ready to go ahead and activate the PCA. So backing up to the initial turn on, if it's not a new patient, you would say no. If you're not working in med surge, then you would have said no and gone back to your hospital's customized list of profile areas and choose the one that you want. What that does is like I'm in med surge right now. That means the list of drugs for PCA and med surge are available for me to use. They could be different. Let's say if I were in pediatric using a PCA, they would have smaller max and minimum rates and weights. So it's always good to make sure that the profile that it defaults last to is the one that you want to go ahead and move forward with. If not, just say no. And again, you'll see your hospital's customized list of those profiles. So now I'm ready to go. We have our tubing primed and loaded. I'm gonna um, keep it clamped until I'm ready to hook it to the patient. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit channel select. It's telling me I need to turn my key to program. Confirm that that's the correct time of day. Obviously, if it's not, you would change the time. Then you're gonna, <clears throat> then it's gonna ask you, it's gonna recognize a syringe. Notice there wasn't anything there. So I hit all syringes. Now it recognizes that there's a BD 5060, and that's what I'm gonna choose. And I'm gonna press confirm. And then here's my list of drugs that your pharmacy has loaded in based on your formulary. And in this demonstration, I'm gonna choose morphine. Notice there's two choices, acute and chronic. I'm gonna choose acute, and I'm just gonna choose the one-to-one. -one. Is this correct? Yes. This is a clinical advisory, just a post-it note to nurses to follow a practice or a protocol. You confirm it. I'm gonna confirm past this next screen because the PCA with the pause protocol, the end title module is not gonna be part of this. If it's something you're interested in, you should see your Med One rep for more information. So now I'm just gonna verify one-to-one. -one. I'm gonna confirm that. And now here's my infusion modes, which are your multiple ways to infuse your PCA meds. I'm gonna choose PCA dose plus continuous. And this is pre-populated based on physician orders. If this were not, you would be able to pr uh, program each one of these steps to follow a doctor's order. Now it's telling me to close and lock the door. And now I can press start.